The Mac can run very, very hot. But what I have found through my years of using Mac laptops, the laptops can run very, very, very hot. So what we're gonna be showing you is a few things. We're gonna be showing you firstly, how do you find the temperature of your Mac? How hot is your Mac running? How hot is the CPU? How are your fans performing? Are your fans performing the way that they should? We are gonna be showing you some of my tips, some of my recommendations to get your Mac running cool so it doesn't burn your legs when it's sitting on your lap. Why don't you let me know in the comments below, is your Mac like super, super hot? Is it like just a little bit warm or does it sometimes just get super hot and your fans are just going crazy? Maybe it's really, really hot and your fans don't even go on at all. And also because you're on the YouTube machine, why don't you subscribe clicking on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Now, we're gonna log into my Mac. I'm running Mac OS Monterey, but if you're running a different version of Mac OS, that's completely fine. The steps that we're gonna be covering in this video will be the same. If you're like me and you've got data everywhere, you've got movies, you've got photos, you've got all of your work documents, you've got data on multiple hard drives, then the solution for you is to get what's called a NAS, a network attached storage. Essentially, it's a storage device where you put all of your data into it and then it's accessible on the network. So if you want to manage your data better, then I recommend getting one of these. This is a TerraMaster NAS. It's boot it up on your network, configure it, set it up, and then you've got access to all of your data. And the great thing about this TerraMaster NAS is that you can install more than 80 applications directly onto the NAS. There's this awesome piece of software called Plex Media Server. You can install Plex Media Server directly onto the NAS. Your phone can actually now stream all of the content. And nowadays, a lot of smart TVs, Apple TVs, have got Plex built into there and they can all connect directly to your TerraMaster NAS running Plex. In the video description below, I've got a link directly to the product. And we'd like to thank TerraMaster for sponsoring this part of the video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the interwebs and we're going to download some free software to actually be able to scan your computer and get the speed of your fans and also the CPU and the graphics card temperatures of your Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a web browser and we're going to look for some software called Fanny Widget for Mac OS. Of course, maybe in Australia and those in the UK, you're gonna find that uh, quite funny. And we're gonna go and click on download. Once it's downloaded, here it is. You can open it up from your zip file and then it actually will put an icon up the very top of your taskbar. So just by hovering my mouse over, you can see the fan speeds of one and two, the CPU and the graphics temperature also. And I can just click on it to get a lot more information. So you can see the fan one and fan two speeds and then the graphics and the CPU temperatures. So you'll straight away see that the maximum speed of your fans are listed as well as the minimum. The maximum, you'll see that my two fans are actually running quite fast. Now my Mac is actually quite busy right now, which is why it is running this fast. But if your fans are always running at this speed, it means that your Mac is really hot and your Mac is trying to cool it down by having those fans running at high performance. If they are still running really, really fast, and you're still seeing very, very hot CPU and GPU, then there could be some other underlying problems. Now, it's not uncommon for a CPU, GPU to run at around 200 odd Fahrenheit. I wouldn't recommend it to get to that temperature, at least for long periods of time. You, you wanna generally keep it under that, but if it's always running at that or running hotter, be concerned and you're gonna have to look into why that is happening. Max and heat do not go well together. So don't use your Mac in a hot location or try to prevent using it in a hot location. If it is stinking hot outside, don't go and sit outside with your laptop with the sun beating down on it. Do not use it inside of a hot, hot car. Don't leave it turned on in a hot car because it's not gonna be very good for that laptop. The general principle is that the cooler that it is outside, your Mac will just not get as hot. You need to use your Mac on a stable working surface. If we're talking about the laptop, put it on a desk, put it on a table. Try not to sit it on your lap. Try not to sit it on some pillows, on your bed, on a couch. All of those places are going to be not very good for the Mac's circulation of air. You just wanna get good ventilation for that Mac. Please, please, please do not cover your Mac. You know, let's say you're using it, it's hooked up to some external screen, and then you go and cover the Mac. You go and put something on top of that Mac. Well, the Mac is not gonna be able to breathe. Why not stick your Mac and actually have it sitting 
on an external sort of fan USB unit. These nice little rectangle square things that you can buy, buy them from various places. They've got fans built in. You stick your Mac on top of it, you run it into the USB, USB-C port on the side of your Mac, and then the air on here is gonna be actually cooling down the bottom of your Mac. Try that out. Now, even though the Mac is USB-C and you can generally charge it with USB-C adapters of various kinds, it's generally a good practice to try to charge it with an Apple adapter if you can, but sometimes other adapters may give you too much juice or not enough juice. That may cause some irregularities inside of that Mac. And a general all around good practice, really for anything, if you're having Mac issues, if your Mac's performing slowly, if your Mac is stuck, if an application is not doing what it needs to do, restart your Mac. Restarting your Mac fixes a myriad of problems. You know, you may not restart it for weeks on end. Try to, at the end of every day, shut your Mac down or restart it once a day, it should be okay. Why don't you let me know down below in the comments if it's running better. And because we're on the YouTubes, why don't you also like this video and subscribe, click on the button and on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my video releases. Thanks again, really appreciate you spending the time and dropping by, we'll see you next time.